I owe a Scott a debt. Tis not you yet. I'd be loath to pay him before his day. What need I be so forward with him? Who calls not on me? Well, tis no matter. Honor pricks me on. But how if honor prick me off before I come on? How then? Can honor said to a leg? No. Or an arm? No. Or take away the grief of a wound? No. Honor hath no skill in surgery then. What is honor a word? What is that word honor? What is that honor? Eh. A trim reckoning? Who has it? He who died on Wednesday? Doth he hear it? No. Doth he feel it? No. Is it insensible then? Yea, to the dead. But doth it not live on with the living? No. Why? Detraction will not suffer it, and I'll not it. Honor is a mere scutcheon, and so ends my catechism. Hello, and thank you for watching. Uh, this is probably the last Shakespeare piece I'll do for a bit. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, that was from Henry the Fourth, Part One, part of one of the cycle of history plays which Shakespeare produced. Uh, the character is, all, uh, is Sir John Falstaff. Now, Falstaff, there's so many ways you can describe him, none of which would not involve him getting a jail term if he were caught. He is a thief, a liar, a blowhard, and that's just the one, the phrases I can think of right now. There is nothing honorable about this man. However, he has a strong loyalty to his friends. He has a strong loyalty to Prince Hal, the future King Henry V of England. And that is about the only good thing I can think to say about him right now. And again, there are some excellent Shakespeare scholars who have written their dissertations on the man. This is just my impression after watching the play and performing that scene, which I've at this point performed, I don't know, three times maybe for different events connected to the Renaissance Fair. But uh, this scene is rather fun. And he is asking himself a question and answering it. Basically, what is honor? He's about to go into battle alongside Prince Hal against the, the Percys who have engaged in open revolt against King Henry IV. And I suggest you look up the history of King Henry IV and Henry V to get a better background of these events. Now here it is, Falstaff has been knighted and he is going to fight alongside Prince Hal. And after having his little talk about the value of honor, he goes to hide behind a tree till the battle's over. Once done, he sees the body of Hotspur lying on the ground drags him back to camp and explains how he killed him. Now, everybody knows he's lying. Prince Hal knows he's lying because he killed Percy himself. But because this is his friend, he doesn't say anything. So it's a very good speech. It is very sad, though, how everything works out for Falstaff at the end of Henry the Fourth, Part Two. Prince Hal has been sowing his wild oats throughout Henry the Fourth, Parts One and Two. But when he is raised to the throne, he puts out all that behind him. And badly misquoting the Bible, when I was a child, I thought like a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things, which is what Prince Hal. Henry V does, and essentially turns his back on Falstaff, his friend. So it's a very sad ending for the man. But I hope you've enjoyed this, and I encourage you to look up more on Sir John Falstaff. He was also in The Merry Wives of Windsor. Personally, I haven't seen that, 
but it was a, a lot less tragic ending for the man. Uh, so I recommend you look for that. Uh, we here at the Alabama Renaissance Fair believe that you should be entertained, but you should also be educated while you're doing it. So I hope that was uh, beneficial to you. Uh, keep learning, stay home, stay safe, and have a good day.